And today I'm going to be talking about Rot and Ruin by Jonathan Mayberry. So Rot and Ruin is a zombie book in case you can't tell by the title and cover and in case you haven't heard of this book before. And basically the story follows 15 year old Benny Imura who lives in this post-apocalyptic world where zombies have taken over and humans kind of live in these small little colonies trying to survive. And at the age of 15, each child has to then take on some sort of job in their community. And what Benny ends up doing is apprenticing with his older brother who goes out and kills zombies. And I gave Rotten Rune 4 out of 5 stars. Overall, I really, really enjoyed this book. I enjoyed it so much more than I thought I was going to. Zombies aren't really my thing. I've never really been into them before. It just seems kind of gross. Um, I just think of The Walking Dead. My dad and brother watch The Walking Dead and that show is absolutely disgusting. I cannot, I just, it's so gross. And so when I saw this book, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's just gonna be a literary The Walking Dead. It's gonna be so gross. But surprisingly, this book was nothing like I expected it to be. It was so different from what I was expecting and my ideas. So if you're initially thinking you don't like zombies, you don't like gore, don't put this book aside just yet. Now the first thing I loved about Rotten Ruin is that it's not a complete gore fest like The Walking Dead. I was really really worried that the story was just going to be super gross, it was going to be nothing but zombie slaying and zombies eating people and all this graphic disgustingness and it wasn't like that at all. Granted there are some violent parts in it but it's nothing over the top like some other things I've read before, it's really not that bad. Another thing that I loved about this book which I'm not going to go too much into right now, I'm going to do that in the spoilery section but it has a very different take on zombies. In my mind, I was thinking there's really only one way a zombie book can go, and this book proved me wrong. It's very different, and it has a really unique idea and focus on how the zombie killing and zombie aspect of the story is done. And basically on the back here, it sort of says like, you know, Benny, through this job killing zombies, sort of finds out what it means to be human and sort of, what does it say here? that some of the most terrible monsters are human. And I hope that gives you a good enough idea. I don't want to spoil it because this is kind of a spoiler. But it's very different than what I would assume. It's not like black and white, the zombies are the bad guys and the humans are the good guys. It's different. Another thing I like is that I knew this book was going to be a series. I mean, it even says so right here, Dust and Decay is the second book. And I know there are like at least four and there's probably more coming out. I'm not even sure. but. What I liked is that it doesn't end on like this infuriating cliffhanger, so I have to go buy the next one to figure out what happens. It ends nicely, it has a good conclusion to the main issues that were happening in this book, but it also sets it up for some more things that could happen in the second and third and whatever more books. So that's nice because it's more of a choice about whether you want to go read the others. It's not like, oh my gosh, I have to know what happens because this thing wasn't concluded. It concluded very nicely and I liked that. Okay, some of the things I didn't like about the story. I felt like it was a little bit slow in places. It took me a long time to get into it. Probably maybe this much into the book, which isn't that much, but you know, I, I like to get into books really, really quickly. So it took me a while to get into it. Also, I felt like there were some chapters that lagged. There were some places I was just skimming over because I was a little bored. The writer has a very descriptive style and it's very good writing. It's just sometimes I'm a little bit impatient and I want to get to the point and figure out what's going to happen. And so I was a little bit bored in places, but I still really enjoyed the book. And that was really the only problem I had with it. As for thematic elements, if you're a younger reader, there is no sexual content at all, I don't think. There might be some language, I think there's some language, but it's nothing super strong. And as for gore, it is a zombie book, so there are some things that are kind of gross. I think there's like one part in particular that was probably kind of bad, it's kind of gross. But it's not over the top, it's not overly graphic in how the writer describes it. It's, it's not like, you know, a whole page describing some dead thing in the road. It's, it's not that bad. Now I'm going to get into more of the spoilery stuff. So if you haven't read the book, go right now. So I wasn't sure if this was a spoiler, so I didn't want to mention it earlier. But I loved the fact that, you know, Benny's brother Tom killing zombies and whatever. I loved that he did it in 
kind of this humane way like what was it called it was like giving closure or something like people would hire him to go basically put to sleep their loved ones who had been turned into zombies and I really liked that it was such an interesting take it wasn't just this guy going chopping off zombie heads it wasn't a gore fest and it just kind of brought a lot of heart to the story and I really loved that perspective I don't know I think that was my favorite part of the book because I was really expecting it to just be like The Walking Dead and it wasn't and I was so glad. Also The Lost Girl. I loved The Lost Girl. She was really cool and interesting and I'm so glad that they actually found her because at the beginning it kind of sounded like she was just a legend and she wasn't really going to be in the book but I'm glad she is. That was really exciting. And then Benny and Nix. I thought that was really sweet because you know they're so young. They're like 14 and 15 and it just sort of summed up like you know little childhood kind of romances so well and I thought it was adorable and and also I mean not that children are constantly being captured by zombies but I liked it when he went after Nyx and saved that was really awesome and then the whole thing with Tom being a zombie and then not oh my gosh I loved the ending to this book and tell me in the comments what you think about this book if you've read it what are your thoughts on it and yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.